After staging the disease, then of course there's thinking about symptoms. I, talked, I, I mentioned that a lot of people present with symptoms, uh, itching, uh, fatigue, um, jo you know, looking jaundiced, and, and also recurrent episodes uh, of infection. Now, if I start off with fatigue, um, fatigue is an incredibly common uh, symptom and no one should feel, so it's interesting, a lot of patients I see feel guilty about feeling tired all the time. Uh, and, and no one should feel guilty at all about that. It is a symptom of this condition. And people feel absolutely shattered with it. Sadly, I've not got a magic pill and no other doctors have a magic pill that helps with that. The only thing that's proven to help little is graduated exercise. And we are hoping, of course, that we'll have therapies in the future, but there's, there's little apart from keeping active that you can do. Uh, but it's important that your relatives and friends understand that you are gonna feel fatigued and that you will need perhaps some time, maybe less work, et cetera, et cetera. Itch, itch is something that we can do something about. We have a full armory of drugs uh, and, and really push your clinician if you're still itching because some people we don't manage, but they're a rarity these days. Most people we can find something we can manage their itch with. Um, you know, all sorts of drugs. Well, I, th I mean, I guess there are a couple of things you can do. One, you could say, you know, that, uh, you know do, do you know of any others? And if they say no, then I think I would say, well, look, can I be seen by a specialist, please? If you've come to the end of your knowledge, which is not unreasonable, you know, we're lucky enough that we just concentrate on a small thing and hopefully know reasonable about it. There are lots of other doctors who have to know lots and lots of yeah. diseases and less about them. And GPs are a great example. You have to know lots and lots about lots of things, but you might only know small amounts. So if you feel your doctor's reaching the level of their, their knowledge, I think it's quite reasonable to be asked to be seen by a specialist. Uh, and I think you have details of where those specialists are, depending on where you live in the country. Yeah. And it's your right to be referred to uh, an appropriate specialist. Um, so recurrent infections uh, are a common problem and a problem a lot of patients have. Um, we, we have an, probably two uh, strategies uh, as, as clinicians for that. One is to give patients a, a, what we call a battle supply of antibiotics to have at home. Uh, often something, a drug called ciprofloxacin, and they stick, you stick it in the cupboard. As soon as you feel like one's coming on, you get on and take it. The other thing, the other, the other strategy is, some, is called, called rotating antibiotics. And this is taking a low dose of an antibiotic and then alternating onto another one, and then alternating onto another one, and rotating between those three long term. And we find both strategies are helpful because there obviously are disadvantages of being on antibiotics long term. So we often try that battle supply one first and then move on to the rotating ones thereafter. So, well, as I say, what we do is so if someone's having one or two infections, even that, we start off with that supply at home. And if they're if a patient's comfortable with that and that's controlling things and they feel, yes, it comes on and I can get on straight on top of it with the antibiotics, we'll stick with that. But if that's not very successful, they're having to come into hospital or they, f they get pretty sick with them, then we must start to move on to the rotating antibiotics. Yeah. So it's more that approach rather than number. Yeah. Um, of course, there is no cure for PSC at present. We are, uh, I think Palak may be mentioning about uh, studies coming in the future, but as yet we don't have a, a, a treatment uh, that, that's, that stops this condition in its tracks. Uh, a lot of patients are put on ursi deoxycholic acid, but I think the general feeling these days is whether, you, you know, it doesn't do any harm, but we're not that convinced it does any good. Uh, it might improve blood tests, um, but um, we don't feel hugely strongly whether someone's on it or not. It certainly won't do any harm, and some people feel better on it, and that's absolutely fine. The other thing to notice is that some people actually get itch on it. So be wary about that, because some people actually feel worse on it. And so if you're getting itch on that drug, I, I, I would advise coming off it.